Hello and congratulations to Durham High on reaching a significant milestone. Hi there, my name is Varsha. Edith Shiverton. My maiden name was Edith Smith. Hello, I'm Dr. Catherine Hankey. Hello, this is the Reverend Canon Karen Kay speaking to you from St. John's Church in Albany in Western Australia. Um, I'm living in Helensboro, which is about 40 minutes from Glasgow. I'm a paediatric nurse. I've trained at Great Ormond Street. I worked in a lot of hospitals in England and in Scotland, also Australia. I'm a matchmaker. I bring the right match of people and businesses together to make things happen. And it's often the most unlikely combinations that get the best results. I live in Durham City and I am a retired farmer. So now I work as a boarding graduate assistant having finished my degree in classical civilizations from Warwick and now I look after small children and I also teach in the classics department for a fabulous school in Malden. I am currently co-director of Teen Talk Scotland counselling provider um, in schools for North and South Lanarkshire. I'm absolutely passionate about my job and about counselling in schools. Previously I was marketing controller for Safeway in Morrisons and managed the sponsorship of the Scottish national football teams. I left school at the age of 17 in 1953 and I became a nurse, an orthopaedic nurse, a general nurse and a midwife. I am now 88 years old. I followed up with a degree in human nutrition and dietetics, a clinical dietetics career for two or three years, an MSc in nutrition at the University of Aberdeen, and then I moved to Glasgow, completing a tour of universities by completing my PhD there with the um, University Department of Human Nutrition. And I used to teach home economics in the Durham High School, a very important subject. Um, I'm currently living in London. I'm doing my fifth year of medicine at Imperial College London. Um, so I have one year left and then I'll be a fully fledged doctor in the NHS. This is the parish of Albany where I'm a priest in charge. I went on to study physics at the University of York and I became a maths and physics teacher. I lived and worked in America for 35 years and now my husband and I are semi-retired in Portugal. I have countless memories of Durham High. I think one that I was thinking about was on the last day of Easter term, which probably would be around kind of this time. Uh, we would always have the staff pantomime. I remember it would just be so exciting, all of us crowding into Main Hall uh, and watching all of our teachers put on a fabulous play. The fondest memory for high school is English with Mrs. Gill and table races with Mrs. Pallister um, in the junior school and the fantastic friends who are still part of my life today. My fondest memories of Durham High School are of Susan Hobbs. She was my home economics teacher, an inspiration and mentor to me and that allowed me then to set me off into a successful career in food. So my favourite memories of DHS have to be our school care and getting to work with all the little ones from nursery all the way to year one. Sometimes we had the year twos come along as well. It was just such good fun. It was an amazing way for me to just process everything that had happened from the day, have a complete break from everything going on with A-levels and do something different. And I really enjoyed my time there. Show me to working with kids now. I, my fondest memory of the high school was when I knocked on the staff room door um, just after I'd taken my O-levels um, to ask to speak to Susan Hobbs. She came out and gave me the biggest of hugs. Um, I ended up getting an A and she, she helped me a lot with my theory and it was one of my favourite subjects. My favourite memories of school are the friendships, the long-lasting friendships and being part of a peer group that was so tolerant and so accepting of all challenges and everything that could be thrown at us. We were cared for, we were loved, and we were encouraged. My school life has had a great influence on my life as it is now. And for that, I'm ever grateful. I remember at the high school, my favourite lesson was maths with Mrs. Hawkes and Mrs. Musgrave. My favourite lunch, very important, was ham and egg pie, followed by apple snow. And a fond memory was when we went with the choir 
and several other choirs from the region to sing in York Minster. I have very fond memories of my time at the school. Here's to the next 140 years.